Ah, this is John with Flat 6 Motorsports. Recently bought a 91 Cayman and just want to talk a little bit about it. So first question is, why did I buy a base Cayman, a 2.7 liter? Well, I wanted something fun that was a pure sports car and something a little more modern. So I uh, chose a 2014 uh, base Cayman. It's black, had 5,000 miles on it, so just mint, beautiful condition. Uh, just a few options, nothing too crazy. I just wanted something lightweight, pure, uh, but a little more modern than the 987. Um, found a great example here. Uh, you know, I own a Porsche Panamera Turbo uh, tuned with about 600 horsepower, so I already have a fast car. Um, you know, that's a PDK, and I really enjoy manual transmission, so that was like the number one important thing for me was just finding a car that I could row through the gears, and it, it's something that's rewarding to drive, and I think that, you know, sometimes having a, a slow car that you can drive faster uh, is a lot of fun. You don't necessarily need high horsepower numbers or super, super capable sports cars to have fun. So I wanted to kind of get back to my roots a little bit with this vehicle, uh, and I think it's a good match. So let me talk about some things I do like about the car. Uh, first of all, it just looks awesome. Uh, you know, look at the exterior, the front bumper is aggressive. Uh, the rear is just, you know, beautiful work, uh, in my opinion, since the 987 generation. Uh, great profile, very Porsche-esque looking. Um, I have the 19-inch uh, Cayman S wheels as an option on this vehicle. Um, really love the look of the car. Um, it's a very great and comfortable sports car too. Uh, you know, most sports cars you don't have a lot of creature comforts. Uh, again, this isn't really well optioned, but I have ventilated seats. I have heated seats. Um, the seats are very comfortable. Uh, took it on a, a cruise back from where I bought it from, and uh, I got 31 miles per, per gallon on the highway, uh, which is quite incredible for a sports car but it just it's something that you don't get out of really sore uh, good space for its size and it just really um, you know gives you a great uh, balance of sports car plus livability um, the engine too is rewarding let me see if I uh, just can bring it out here a little bit go down the second gear uh, you, you gotta wind this thing out but uh, here's a quick pull up at six seven thousand rpms um, you know, definitely something you have to wind out um, I, I, it's rewarding though it's it's probably gonna work for it like I said I had a Panamera turbo you step on that thing and it's it's off to the races I mean it's it's fast don't get me wrong but um, this just has a, a different character to it I guess um, but you know it, it's really nice um, again just you know a good chassis very lively very balanced obviously a mid-engine came in um, so that, that's all very good. Those are basically the main things I, I love about this car initially. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things I don't like. Uh, the gearing is super, super tall. Uh, I do not understand, you know, classic Porsche with the Cayman saying, you know, we're going to penalize it a little bit. Certainly it seems deliberate that second and third gear uh, are so tall. You literally have to wind this thing out an incredible amount to, to get power out of it. Um, I think the... I don't know what speed second gear goes up to. I think third, I saw like 102, 103 in third gear. Uh, for a car that has 275 horsepower and 213 pound feet of torque, uh, that's quite quite a lot. You know, if this had a better, closer ratio gearbox, I think it would actually be a lot more fun of a car. Uh, still, with that being said, it's it's no slouch. I mean, 275 horsepower, of course, is, is pretty uh, low in modern terms, but uh, you know, it, it's definitely fun. It's not a slow car. It's definitely not a fast car, but it's quick. It's rewarding to uh, ring out, um, and, and I really like it. Uh, the rear dampers, I would say, they need a little bit more rebound. Um, it's a, it feels a little soft to me, um, and I like to have a little bit quicker weight transfer, uh, especially in the back where, uh, you know, you have a little bit more weight distribution. Um, you know, we're, we're planning on doing some things to this car, so I think that it will all work out very nicely with some aftermarket suspension but just from the factory and I don't know if it's a consequence of being a, a base Cayman versus Cayman S might be a slightly different tuning um, with the dampers uh, just feels a little bit soft um, and again I, I wish I had a little bit quicker weight transfer and you know that could be settled with likely a sway bar um, I happen to think that aftermarket coilovers will do all the all, all that I need for it uh, the brakes are, are good I thought they would actually be a little bit more impressive uh, just reading articles on how good they were uh, I had a Lotus Avor for a little bit of time, which is, uh, you know, a similar car, very but very raw. Uh, this feels a little bit soft, uh, just overall in tuning, I would say. It's, it just kind of feels a little bit soft. 
uh, which is a great thing for I think most people out there that do street driving. Uh, this this blends it perfectly. The the Avora I had was you know definitely at the the extreme of raw, uh, but the brakes on that were elite. They're world class. Um, this I, I wish it had a little bit more uh, biting force. Um, I haven't had it on the track yet, uh, but I, I think a brake upgrade is intimate. Um, not that you know 99% of you guys out there will probably feel that these are these are enough. I mean they definitely are enough. Uh, you could probably go out the track and have fun with these and and not lose your pedal, but. Uh, you know, assuming you swapped to some pads and fluid, but um, I, I just w was hoping for a little bit more there. Um, but again, nothing too significant. So overall, I mean, that's how I feel about the car. I, I really like it. Um, you know, very capable chassis. We're really looking forward to uh, putting some modifications on this. It's like all of like the weak spots. I really think that the modifications are going to bring it to life. Uh, we're going to do a, a tune headers, exhaust, uh, IPD plenum, a GT3 throttle body, BMC air filter. So that's really going to make this thing sound even, you know, 10 times better. And I already think it sounds amazing. Um, and we're, we're going to do all that. We're going to have a build series. So please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we regularly have a Sorry about that. We're trying to pull one somewhere. We regularly have uh, product showcases where we highlight uh, different parts for all Porsche models, and we cover all late models, so the 996 and newer. So think about it, 2000 and up is when the world started for us uh, with Porsche. Um, but we have everything for the Cayenne Macan, Panamera, the 911s, the Caymans, Boxsters. Uh, you know, great one-stop shop. But uh, we regularly upload what we call product showcases, which is a nice one to two minute format to show you a, a feature of uh, a various part. But we'll be doing a little bit deeper dive with uh, this Cayman as we do a build series. It's going to be at least 10 episodes. And it's going to feature everything from dyno poles on the baseline to what the modifications do. Uh, acceleration numbers. It's going to be a lot of cool content. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, very excited about this. So please, again, subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you have any questions or you have a Cayman out there that uh, you're looking for some modifications, uh, you know, definitely you're going to want to follow along to everything we're doing. Um, but we have a lot of knowledge and experience with clients. So feel free to reach out to us.